Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lamb of God. And welcome. Welcome to Elanton Missionary Baptist Church online worship service. We thank God for all of you who have tuned in, who are listening and viewing on this Lord's Day. We give God praise, honor, and glory because he's worthy. Yes, he is. He's worthy of praise. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, this is what I want to ask that you would do. During this worship service and this time of pandemic when we are going live and on Facebook and social media, we want you to subscribe. We want you to subscribe and hit the like button as well. But also we want you to start watch parties. Yes, to invite others, to invite others to be a part of our worship experience. And it's vitally important, my brothers and sisters, that the people of God continue to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that's one way that we can do it. Invite those who don't know Christ, who, who don't have a church home. Invite them to be a part of our worship experience. And then I want you to start commenting in the comment section. Yeah, we want you to do that. We want you to, to, to comment, to, to let us know that you're connected in the service, Elinton. We want to see your name and your comments, your amens, your praises and hallelujah to the Lord. Do it throughout the service. Let's do that. Let's do that in the spirit of worship, in the spirit of worship. So let's just take a moment right now, yeah, to praise him because he's worthy of praise. Come on, lift those hands, clap your hands, shout hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank God for another opportunity to worship our Lord, glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lord. Amen. Receive our praise team now as they bless us in song.
Hallelujah. Glory to the Alpha and the Omega. Oh yeah, he's the first, the last, the beginning and the end. And we worship him. We give him glory and honor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh yes, our God is a great God. He is the Alpha and the Omega. And we give him praise, honor, and glory. Come on, put it in the comment section that you're praising the Alpha and the Omega, that you're giving him glory and honor. Let's do his name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to the one who sits on the throne. We give him praise, honor, and glory. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, our God, who is a great God. Amen, amen, and amen. And it's prayer time. It's prayer time. It's prayer time. God is calling the people of God to pray. And what I want to encourage you, as the Apostle Paul encourages us in Philippians, he said that we ought to pray in everything with thanksgiving. And I want you to come to the altar, trusting and believing. Jesus said that we ought to always pray. Don't you give up. Don't you give up on prayer. Come on and meet God at the throne of grace as Minister Teresa Banks leads us further in prayer. Good morning, good morning, all of God's children. This is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it no matter what it looks like, no matter what it sounds like because we trust God. Father, in the name of Jesus, your sons and your daughter, we call on you, Elohim, the creator of heaven and earth, who was in the beginning. It is you who made us and not we ourselves. We call on you, great Jehovah Rapha, our healer, the one who heals our hurts, who allows us to give thanks for all things, for it is the will of you concerning us. We, your sons and daughter, call on you, Jehovah Shalom, our peace, the peace which transcends all understanding, Father God, your perfect peace. Father God, your word says, thou will keep us in perfect peace peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Father God, we thank you. Father God, what a privilege and an honor to come before your throne of grace and mercy on this morning, Father God. Father God, to just to plead our case to petition before our King. Father, we want to thank you, Father God, for being with us. We thank you for protecting us. We thank you this morning for strengthening us. We thank you for every answer prayer. We thank you for providing for us, Father God. And we, God, we even thank you, Father God, that we can gleam on the story of Abraham, Father God, and how God, he was, he was called righteous, Father God. And in the word, when it says, we stagger not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Father, we would not waver and father God we won't collapse and just in case God we fall short father God you give us the strength to get back up and so we thank you for that we thank you father God for your many promises father God and father on today we ask you God to have your way in our homes on today you're so welcome in our space you're welcome in our praise you're welcome in our our thoughts father and father we ask you to bless your nation on today your nation that will obey your nation that will turn from their evil ways and be about our father's business father father bless the man of God or the woman of God who's bringing forth the word of God with surety with truth with deliverance father we thank you and father God as we come to an end of this praise or this prayer father God we just again say thank you we give you glory 
honor because all glory and honor belongs to you. This is our prayer and we stand in faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We thank God for Minister Banks praying such a powerful prayer on today. A prayer that that's attentive to the ears of God, that encourage the people of God, but even more so, that reaches the heart of God who answers, answers our prayers. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, hallelujah. It's given time, it's given time. Put those hands together and give God some praise because listen, giving is worship. And when we worship God, we offer God our very best. And so I'm encouraging you, Elinton, and all of you who are viewing and listening to be a blessing to this ministry, to do so in a way that we can be very impactful in ministry, that we can touch the lives of those who worship with us and those who worship in our community and live in our community and even abroad. And so we need you to give, give in a manner that bespeaks your love for God. For God has truly been faithful. And listen, we want to be faithful givers, faithful and cheerful givers, given in a manner, given in a manner that bespeaks who we are and what we believe and trust in, and that's worshiping God in all that we do. Listen, you can give through the mobile app, Gillify, and we encourage you of our members to do so, to do so. We're doing the things anew in a new excellent way. And so I want to challenge you not to be afraid of technology, but to use it, to use it to be a blessing to the kingdom of God. And then my brothers and sisters, you can also mail your offerings to Elinton Missionary Baptist Church, P.O. Box 13219, Detroit, Michigan, 48213. That's Elinton Missionary Baptist Church, P.O. Box 13219, Detroit, Michigan, 48213. And listen, God loves a faithful giver. Let's bow our heads. Eternal God, thank you for this, another opportunity to worship you in our giving. Because God, all that we have comes from you. And we thank you for the many gifts, the many blessings that you bestowed in our lives. And so God, we ask that you would receive these gifts as our offering unto you. We ask that you bless it, bless the givers. Oh God, that you might be glorified in Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen and amen. Elinton, thank you. Thank you for your faithful and obedient giving. We just thank God for each and every one of you to be uh, the people of God that you are, to know the importance, the importance of worshiping God through giving. God bless you. God bless you. Receive the praise team again as they bless us one more time in song. <laughs>
I believe, I believe that things will get better. Is there anybody believing and trusting that things will get better? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yeah, we're coming through the storm. It's going to get better. We're coming through the valley. It's going to get better because our God is better than better. Come on and put those hands together and give God praise for the goodness of God. We thank God for the praise team. We thank God for our audiovisual team, our musicians. And, of course, all of you who have tuned in on today that we are gathered together in the presence of the Lord to worship God in spirit and in truth. And we just thank God for you, you, and you for being who God has called you to be. Amen, amen. We lift up the name of our Christ, the matchless, majestic, marvelous name of him who is, who was, and who is to come, the almighty. Yes, he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is our God, and we give him praise, honor, and glory on today. I want to call your attention to the epistle to the Philippians, Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, Philippians 4, 6 and 7, who says these words, be not anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And from this, I want to talk from the subject, the peace of God. The peace of God. Amen. Is there anybody listening or viewing that needs the peace of God in your heart and in your minds. I, I'm talking about God's peace. I, I don't know about you, but I need God's peace in my life. How, how, how about you, my brother? and sisters and in the world in which we're living and the times and the situations that are occurring in our lives, the upheaval, the division and violence and all of the rest in amongst this, this pandemic, we need peace. I, I can't speak for you, but, but I dare to say that every child of God ought to have the peace of God in your heart. You ought to just shout, I, I need God's peace. I, I, I need God's peace because it is the peace of God that keeps us, sustains us. And hallelujah, keeps us in our right mind. Can I, can I, can I get a witness? I, I don't know what I would do. I, I, I don't know what I, what I would do. Without the peace of God in, in my life. What, what about, about you? I, I, I don't know where I would be. I would be a mess. I would be a wreck. I, 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 I wouldn't know which way to turn if it was not for the peace of God. I, I'll be, as we say, I'll be tore up from the floor up if I didn't have the peace, the peace of God. You know, peace, my brothers and sisters, and, and I'm not talking about just any kind of peace. Uh, I, I'm talking about the peace of, of God that dwells in the heart of the believer. I, I'm talking about the peace of God for the children of God. We need a kind of peace, peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace that gives us tranquility and calm in the midst of the difficulties, the turmoil, the trouble of life. I, I, I'm talking about a peace, not just a peace when everything is going well, but, but when all hell breaks loose in your life, God can give you peace. Oh, 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 yes, he can. Yes, yes, he can. You see, peace is not the absence 
of conflict. Peace is not the absence of, of hardship. Peace, my brothers and sisters, is the presence of God, the dwelling and presence of God in our lives. And listen, God promises the children of God that I'll give you peace. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm talking about the peace of, peace of Jesus. I'm talking about Jesus' peace. Peace that he said, I, I, I'll give you even in the midst of hardships and trials and tribulation. Take courage because I've given you my peace and I've overcome, overcome the world. And I ought to have a few witnesses here that the peace of God can pick you up, dust you off and start you on, on your way. I ought to have a few witnesses. Somebody ought to comment in the, in the comment section that God is able to give you peace when your world is turned upside down in the midst of loss and, and in, list, in the midst of chaos and tragedy and turmoil. God can and God will. Oh, yes, he will. Yes, he will. He'll, he'll give you peace. Give you peace. Uh, I, I, can, can anybody testify about the peace of, of God? I, I, I don't know, you know, when it showed up, but it showed up. God's peace will, will show up and give you the calm and tranquility and, and allow you to continue to move on forward in the world in which we live. The Bible says that if you just keep your mind on the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll keep you in, in, in peace, perfect peace. Yeah, yeah, when you trust in, in him. And so I, I can say with confidence and boldly that I can thank God for my mountains. And I can thank him for, for the valleys. I can thank him for the storms that he's brought me through. For if I never had a problem, and my brothers and sisters in life, we're going to have some problems. But if I never had a problem, how would I know, hallelujah, that he could, he could solve them? I would never know what faith in God can do. Through it all. Somebody say through it all. Through it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. Through it all. Through it all. I learned to depend upon his word and God's word is that he'll give you peace. Oh, yeah. Somebody need to hear what I'm, I'm saying today. He, he'll, he'll, he'll give you a, a peace, yeah, that will surpass all under, understanding. I, 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 I'm talking about the peace of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this peace can only come from God. Some, somebody need to hear there's nothing else in this world that can offer us peace that surpasses all under understanding yeah yeah it can't be acquired by by your money no no this peace that i'm talking about can't can't be purchased with a credit card no no this peace that i'm I, i'm talking about it can't be worn it can't be driven no the peace that i'm talking about can only come from god no, you, you can't find this, this piece rolled up in, 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 in some cigarette paper called a blunt. No, no, you can't find this piece in a bottle or, 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 or some pills. No, you can't find the type of piece. You can't smoke it out of a crack pipe. You, you can't find this type of piece because it only comes from Jesus. It only comes from God. And the peace of God that dwells in our heart. That, that's the peace that I'm talking about. You can't find it no, no place else, my brothers and sisters. And that's why I wanted to talk about this, because in these tumultuous times that we're dealing with, in the uncertainties of life, we can find ourselves lacking the peace of God. But listen, if you're a child of God, you ought to have peace in your heart, your soul, and your mind. And the word of God promises us Promise us God's peace. So, so what must we do to claim the promises of God's peace? What must we do? Let's, let's, let's look at our, our text here in the, the letter to the Philippian church written by the apostle Paul who was imprisoned in, in Rome. You see, Paul wrote this letter giving thanks to the Philippians for the gift that they had sent him and the encouragement to them but but he in prison he had the peace of God 
Yeah, he was able to encourage them in this letter called the letter really of joy to encourage them to stand firm in the faces of persecution and to rejoice. I say always rejoice in the Lord, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of your situation. Rejoice in the Lord because God will give you, give you peace. He'll give you peace. How? How can we claim that promises? Paul, here, first of all, he tells us what not to do. Yeah, he, he speaks of, uh, 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 of that in the negative. You see, Paul says uh, here in, 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 in verse number four, he, he says, verse number six, rather, he, he says, not to be anxious about anything. Yeah, yeah, don't you worry. Don't, 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 don't worry. That, that's what Paul is saying. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh huh. I, I, yeah, I, I can't see you, but but I know some of you are worried about some stuff right now. Y- yes, you are. Yes, yes, you are. You're worried about things that you can't do anything about. If you want the peace of God, if we want to 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 have the peace of God dwell in our hearts, don't don't you don't you worry. Don't 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 you worry about. About nothing. That, that's what the text said. Don't worry about nothing. And, and, and listen, that's just what we do. We worry about nothing. So, somebody missed that. Yeah, we, we worry about nothing. We ought to be worrying about anything. Yeah, he, he said, don't, don't you worry. Don't, don't you worry. You see, there's a study some time ago that says that 98% of, of what we worry about or, or rather, 92 percent of what we worry about uh, is just a, a, a waste of, of energy. Yeah, it, it's a waste of, uh, of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You lose a whole lot of sleep over, you know, 92 percent of the stuff that you worry about. Says 40 percent of what we worry about never happens. Is, is anybody uh, that's worrying and listening to me? Yeah, that 30 percent. Uh, uh, of our worries, our concerns about the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You worried about something you can't change. You you can't change the past. But but thirty percent of what we we're concerned about are concerns of the past, and and then twelve percent are needless worries about our health. And then there's 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 ten percent that we worry about petty stuff. Yeah. P- petty issues, yeah, yes, yeah. Worried about stuff that you ain't gonna even remember, uh, 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 you know, a week from now. Worry, and then that's that's the ninety-two percent. But the study goes on to say that there's eight uh, percent of legitimate concerns that we worry about. But listen to what the Bible says that that even the eight percent that our legitimate concern, the Bible said that we ought not worry about anything. So somebody, somebody, somebody put in the comments, don't you worry about anything. Don't, don't you worry about, about nothing. See, because worry is not going to give you peace. No, 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 no. That can only come from God. And, and, and see, you know, when worry comes, worry brings along its friends. Yeah, it brings along fear. Yeah, a fear to act. It, it, it brings along with it withdrawal and seclusion. We, 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 we turn inward rather than turn outward to God. There's hesitation to move forward when we, when we worry. We have depression, d- discouragement in our lives. Unplanned actions because we won't move. Unwise and harmful decisions. Physical sickness and infirmities. Oh yeah, emotional. Problems, spiritual, backsliding, distrust, and unbelief. Paul writes to the Philippian church and he says to us, don't you, don't you worry about, about nothing. See, Paul, Paul, Paul's in, in jail, you, you see, and, and these are his final words of exhortation to, to the church that he loves in, in, in Philippi. He, he's saying to them, don't you worry about nothing. And he's saying to us today in 2020, he's saying to us, don't you worry about a thing. Don't, don't worry about nothing. You see, worry, it, 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 what, it, what it really is, is just packing a whole lot of, uh, 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 of future days into today. It, 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 did anybody? Yeah, I, I'm talking about taking 
taking, taking stuff that, that, that ain't even occurred and, and bringing it in today, to future days. And, and Jesus, Jesus said it this way. He said, don't you worry about, about tomorrow when today has enough concerns in the day on its own. Is anybody listening to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying? What are you worried about? Yeah, yeah. What, 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 are, what are you worried about, my brothers, my, my, my sisters? What are you worried about? So, so when you go ahead of today... And you bring in future days, you, you, all you're doing is bringing in future problems. That some, somebody need to hear what the Spirit of the Lord said. You're bringing in future challenges. You, you're concerned that, that, that these concerns will weigh you down and put you in a state of anxiety and worry. A am I talking to, to, to anybody? Somebody, come on, somebody ought to put it in the comment section. Lord, you're talking to me. <laughs> But if you want the peace, I'm talking about the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Don't you worry about a thing. And, and I need to let somebody know out there that's worrying right now. And I, and I know humanly, you know, from a human perspective, yeah, we, we got a, a lot to worry about. But, but I ain't talking about it from a human perspective. I'm talking about from a God's perspective. I'm talking about he's uh, dwelling in my heart. I, I'm talking about not worrying because God says not to worry. Yeah, because, cause you, cause, you know, wor worry will take, take you right on out of here. Y yes, it will, yeah. Worry has never solved a problem. Don't, don't you worry. No, no, worry has never eased a pain. Worry can't diminish your suffering. Worry won't pay your bills. Worry won't put no money in your pocket. Worry won't heal your body. Worry can't mend your relationships. Worry can't bring your wayward child back home. No, worry can't put no food on your table. Worry can't put no clothes on your back. Worry has nothing to do for for you but see worry here, here, here's here's really what I want to say worrying has not will not cannot give you joy peace or love all you gonna get from worrying my brothers and sisters all you gonna get to is to find yourself in somebody's hospital or laying across a church in a casket because worry will put you to death and God said don't you worry about a thing don't you worry about a thing Cause see, worrying don't care. <laughs> no, no, no. Worrying don't care about nothing but worrying. So what you worrying for? When God says to us, don't, don't, don't you, don't you worry for, for nothing. And, and listen, we need to, we need to examine ourselves today, and and uh, we need to find out if 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 if, if our worrying is is distressing us and, and robbing us of our peace. Yeah, yeah, because I, 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 see, see, the peace I'm talking about, Jesus gave us this peace, yeah. And, and, and the world can't take away this peace, and, and, and the worrying can't take away this peace, and, and, and peace, love, and joy are, are, are the byproducts of our relationship with, with God. That's the presence of God, and if you don't have no peace, maybe you don't have the presence of God in your life as we should. Am I, am I, am I preaching to anybody today? Yeah, he says what, what not to do. He said, don't you worry about, about anything. But, but then, but then, and uh, let, let me say this before I move on, and, and it'll help me lead me to, to my next point. Because, see, my mama, uh, God bless her, she's gone home to be with the Lord. She used to tell us that, uh, my siblings and I, she would say that, listen, I ain't going to worry about you no more. Yeah, I, 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 I don't put you in the, in the Lord's hand. I need to tell some parent, don't, don't you worry about that, that, that grown person in, in, in your house. Yeah, that teenager. Yeah, it's hard enough to try to keep a toddler. Yeah, to, to, yeah to, to do what you need them to do. But how you going to take them grown folk? Yeah, and, and you work. Mama would say, listen, I ain't going to worry about you. I don't put you in the Lord's hand. And see, when you put somebody and your things in the Lord's hand, that, that, that means that, that God's going to take care of it. And I ain't going to worry about it. And, and, and the reason why I said that is because Paul goes on to say, well, what you need to do, 
is to pray. Yeah, that, that, that's right there in the text. He, he said that you ought to pray about everything. Yeah, don't, don't worry about nothing, but pray about everything. Yeah, put, put it in the Lord's hand. Put it in the Lord's care because he cares for you. You can't handle the worry. Put it in the Lord's hand. Cast all your cares on him because he cares for, for you. He says, pray. Yeah, pray, pray. Pray. He said. He, he says. Pray. He, he he says. Pray. So he gives us some 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 direction here, of how we ought to pray. And, and listen, if you you praying without faith, you might well not pray, cause cause prayer without faith is prayer that's dead. Yeah, yeah. It's just bouncing off the wall. You you need to pray by by faith. He says in everything, pray, trusting and believing that God is hearing your prayers. Pray in everything. But we may not be experiencing the peace of God, and it could be because of lack of prayer or no prayer at all. So some, somebody ought to say amen. Yeah, yeah, you, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can stand there. You, you can act like I ain't talking to you. But all of us, all of us can pray more. Yeah, yeah. Jesus said, don't you cease from, from praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can get down on your knees and pray more. I'm talking about real prayer. I'm talking about praying in the spirit. I'm talking about praying with truth in your heart, trusting and believing, not leaning to your own understanding, praying to the alpha and the omega pray to god so, some some somebody need to hear what the spirit of the lord is, is saying yeah either either we are you know have a lack of prayer or we don't pray about everything and i think most of us fall into that category we don't pray about everything yeah the apostle paul said no you need to pray about everything <laughs> take everything to god in in prayer yeah if you want things to get better and i believe that they will get better you need the peace of god in your life while you're waiting on things to get better and, and listen listen paul says pray about everything yeah you 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 got to pray yeah pray pray my brothers and sisters instead of you complaining and, 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 and instead of you just you just you know uh, uh, worrying you, you we ought to be what praying so somebody put in this to the comment section there that that I that I'm praying I, I I'm gonna cast my cares on him I'm gonna pray <laughs> he says to he says to pray to pray what a privilege what an honor to pray Oh, hallelujah. What, what a privilege. In the times of difficulty, in the times when things are, are going well, when we ought to have this communication with God in everything, you, 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 ought, to, you ought to pray. Yeah, Paul, Paul is, is, is talking about praying in, in, in everything. He, he says, by prayer and petition. Yeah, you... You, you, you ought to pray in, in, in everything, every circumstance, every situation of your life, we, we ought to pray. And then, and then he, he goes on to say that when you pray, you ought to pray with thanksgiving. Some, somebody ought to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. We ought to be gracious with thanksgiving in our heart that God allows us into his presence. Some, some, somebody need to hear, hear this, that, that, that when we pray, God allows us into the throne room of his grace and his mercy. When we pray, we are in the presence of God and the presence of God is the peace of God in our lives. The more we pray, the more we're in his presence. The more we're in his presence, the more we experience his peace. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And, and you ought to come thanking God. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 you should. Yes, yes, we should. We ought to thank God that he allowed us in, into his presence. Uh, anybody thankful today for the, for, for, for the opportunity to pray? And ought to have some witness. And I know I got some folk that testify that they thanking God for, 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 for prayer, for, for answer prayer. Thanking God for, for hearing their cry, for hearing their voice. Cry out with thanksgiving in your heart. Thank you. God for allowing me into the throne of grace. Uh, thank you for, for cleansing me. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for being there when I wasn't there for myself. Thank you for this opportunity to pray. Come with thanksgiving.
bringing everything to, to God in prayer. He says, present then your, 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 your request. And, and, and I like the fact that, that Paul says, first of all, you ought to give some thanksgiving before you start begging. Somebody ought to hear what I'm saying. Because oftentimes we don't have the peace of God because we're going into God complaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we come to God not trusting and believing, doubting. We come to God asking God, why haven't you done what I've asked you to do? But we ought to come with thanksgiving before you even make your request to the Lord. Yeah, yeah. You see, when we go into prayer with the right spirit, with thanksgiving, my brothers and sisters, we position our, ourselves to, 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 to be heard by God, to, to sense the presence and, and the peace of God. He said, and then present your request to God. Yeah, yeah. Notice who he said present them to. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know sometimes we, we go and, and we tell everybody else about what's going on in our lives and haven't talked to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we'll pick up a self-help book and, and, and all the rest, but we still haven't presented our request to God. But, but I, I need you to see this in the text. He says, don't you worry about nothing, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And I need you to hear this. Paul did not say that God will answer your prayers. No, 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 no. He, he didn't say this. This ain't about answering your prayer. This is about the peace of God. Yeah. yeah. And, and when you're waiting on God to answer your prayer, you need his peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This ain't about him answering your prayer because, because God did not have to answer your prayer when you request your prayer because God knows best for you but what God will do for you hallelujah if you just cast all your cares on him and don't worry about nothing pray with thanksgiving in your heart and present your request to God the apostle Paul writes and the peace of God which transcends all understanding with God your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Anybody need that kind of peace up in here? I don't know about you, but I, I need the peace of God, which transcends all understanding. Uh, you know, I, 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 I thought about trying to give you a definition of peace. And, and the closest that I could get is that, that the peace is the presence of God. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but that's all I could, I can give you because one thing, I, I, I don't want to give you a definition I want you to experience, and that's what God wants. He, he wants us to experience his peace. Because his peace transcends all understanding, it's indescribable. Somebody need to hear what I'm saying. You can't tell me how, how God's peace, what about you? Because it, it, it transcends all understanding. I, I can't tell you about how my peace felt. I, I can't tell you about when I sense the peace of God. But, but, uh, but one thing about it, I can tell you I experienced his peace. And that's what God wants. He wants you to experience his peace peace. In the time of trouble, experience his peace. In the time of turmoil, experience his peace. When things are going up, experience his peace. Experience on the mountaintop. Experience his peace in the valley. Experience his peace in the shadow of death. Experience his peace in loss and pandemic. Experience his peace. God will give you peace. Those that keep their mind stay on him he'll give you peace trust him lean on him and he'll give you a peace that surpasses all understanding oh yes he will he uh, all understanding uh, I, I i can't explain it uh, I, I i can't define it but i know when i feel the peace of god uh, he'll show up in the late midnight hours uh, he'll show up when nobody else will uh, he'll hear your prayers uh, and he'll give you peace and then when he when he gives you peace <laughs> Yeah, he'll give you a peace that'll guard your heart and your mind. And I thank God that the Lord Jesus, he's guarding my heart right now against the wiles of the enemy. He, he, he's guarding my heart from the schemes of the devil. Oh yeah, he's, he's my God. He, he, he's, he's guarding my heart right now. And he'll guard your heart right now. Somebody ought to shout, Jesus, guard my heart. Guard my mind. Holy Jesus, do it for me. I trust Trust in you with all my heart, with all my 
soul, with all my mind. Somebody need to acknowledge him. Acknowledge the Lord who dwells in your heart. He'll give you peace. Anybody experiencing his peace? Well, you want a way that you can show it? You can give him praise. Yes, you can. Not just when things are going well, but you can give him praise in the middle of whatever your situation is. Somebody praise him. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Praise him. Get the peace of God in your heart. Cast all your cares on him. Pray, church. Pray, church. Pray, church. Cease. Don't cease. But pray, church. Cease from worrying. And pray, church, with thanksgiving in your heart. To experience the peace of God. It surpasses all understanding. Jesus told his disciples in his, his final discourse with them, he said that I'm going to the cross, but let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God and believe in me. He says, I give you my peace. There'll be trouble in the world, but, but be a courage because I've given you my peace and I've overcome the world. I'm going to die for your sins, but don't, don't let your, your heart be troubled. Hallelujah, because where I'm going, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And that dwelling place, my brothers and sisters, is not just in glory, but it's in your heart right now. Preparing a dwelling place where God can dwell with you and you and you. That the peace of God will guard your heart and your, and your mind that you can keep it stayed on Jesus. That no matter what's going on in our world. He says, I'm going to die. But I'm going to receive you to myself. I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back. And he's not just talking about at death. Hallelujah. He's talking about right now in the midst of trials and tribulations. Don't let your heart be troubled. I dwell in your heart and I'll give you peace. That will surpass all understanding. Don't you worry about Friday night. <laughs> I'm going to die. Don't, don't worry on Saturday when I don't get up out the grave. I'll be there all night Friday, all night Saturday night. <laughs> But you just keep on praying because there's a Friday, hallelujah, there's a Sunday morning. And, and Sunday morning he got up with all power. All power, the Prince of Peace. With all power in his hand. And he is inviting you, my brother, my sister, to experience the peace of God. The presence, the joy, and the love of God died for your sins and rose for your salvation. Trust in him. Acknowledge him. Don't lean to your own finite mind. But keep your mind stayed on, on the Lord. Trust in him. Oh yeah, he'll give you peace that surpasses all understanding. Protect your heart and your mind. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Nothing can separate us from the peace, the tranquility, and the calm that God can give you even in the midst of a storm. But that same peace in the storm, in the valley, will give you the strength to rise up on the mountaintop and give him praise, honor, and glory. It's just as he was raised from the dead. So I just need a few people right now to first put in the comment section, <laughs> hallelujah, that I'm not going to worry about anything, that I'm going to pray, and I'm going to experience the peace of God. Now, after you've done that, put down your computer. Yeah, put, put, put it down. Put, put down your tablet and your, your phone and... And stand on your feet. 
I'm talking about you want some peace and give the Prince of Peace some praise. I said, stand on your feet. Come on wherever you are and shout glory to his name. Enter into his presence with thanksgiving. Somebody ought to shout glory. Glory to the Lamb of God. Somebody ought to give him praise. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. I want to experience your peace. I need your peace. I need your peace that surpasses all understanding. Give me peace. I need your peace the peace of God that surpasses all understanding God bless you God bless you this time we want to extend an invitation someone to receive the peace of God that will remove the wrath of God that you can be at peace with God and then with one another that's what God's peace is to be a peacemaker in order for you to receive the peace of God you got to be at peace with God and at peace with one another and maybe you my brother my sister you don't know him for yourself you ought to come text your name text your name to join at elintonmbc.org that's elintonmbc.org join at elintonmbc.org I, I, I just want to to pray with us right now. If you would, just bow your heads for a word of prayer. Here we are, O oh God, standing before you in your divine presence where there's peace, there's love, and there's joy. But sometimes, God, and many who are praying even right now, we don't sense your joy, your peace, and your love. God, worry it has taken over and brought fear in our lives and devastation and depression and all of the rest. But oh, hallelujah, God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would move by your spirit and in a way that only you can, God, that you would invade our space individually and collectively, Jesus, and that you would show up the Prince of Peace. Allow your people, God, in this tumultuous and, and times of uncertainty to feel your presence. Manifest yourself if you would, God. Because that's our prayer. With thanksgiving. Trusting and believing and thanking you. That's our request. God, answer your your children in the way that you choose. But oh, hallelujah, God, we thank you that even right now, somebody that's going through, we're trusting and believing, God, that you're touching their hearts right now. You're touching their minds right now, oh God, that you're easing the pain, oh God, that even if you don't answer our prayer, but that you allow us to sense your presence and experience your peace like we never have before. God, this is our prayer. Bless your people in the name of Jesus. Give us peace. We want the promise of your peace. We claim it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank God. Amen. Amen. Come on, put those hands together and give God some praise on today for the peace of God. Ain't nothing like the peace of God. There's nothing like the peace of God. God bless you. God keep you is our prayer. We're going to have our ministry highlights at this time. Praise the Lord, saints. Psalms 34 and 8 tells us, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. We pray that all is well with you, you, and you. And we're trusting that God continuously meets all of your needs during this time. Attention all Detroit Public Schools Community District students, parents, and guardians. Any K-12 through DPSCD student enrolled in the district during the spring membership count that occurred February 2020 is eligible to receive a wireless tablet device, LTE data for six months, and technical support. 
including 2020 graduates that finished in June. If your device is not claimed by fall 2020, the district will distribute devices to new students pending availability. Make plans to pick up your device this week. Low-cost community resources provided by our COVID-19 committee is located on the Illiton MBC SM Facebook page. We are committed to your spiritual growth and connecting with you using alternative methods for worship services, Bible studies, and meetings. To receive updates by email, send your request to email address normaraws at yahoo.com. That's N-O-R-M-A period R-A-W-L-S at Y-A-H O-O period C-O-M or by phone at 313 313- 921-4073, extension 10. Sunday school is each Sunday at 9 a.m. Contact Normal Ross by email or phone for the Zoom app login and password. A call to worship service begins each Sunday at 10.30 a.m. A call to pray is every Wednesday at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. A call to Bible study begins each Wednesday at 11.30 a.m., and 6.30 p.m. Worship services, Bible studies, and prayer will be conducted on our conference call line. The direct number to call in is 515-603-5693. Worship services will also stream live on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Please like, share, and follow us on all social media platforms at Illiton NBC SM. To partner and support us in ministry, please share your tithes, offerings, and gifts in two ways. By mail, P.O. Box 13219, Detroit, Michigan 48213. Do not send mail to the physical church address 8935 St. Cyril. You can also give using the secure mobile app Givelify. Download Givelify at your Google or App Store. Please remember our sick and shut-in, bereaving families, and our entire congregation with calls, texts, cards, and prayers. Thank you for tuning in today. We look forward to reconnecting with you next time. Have a blessed week. We thank God. We thank God for Deacon Tory Award Gilkey for sharing the ministry highlights with us, uh, doing so in, in, in a spirit of excellence. And we just thank God for the gift of God in her and her continued faithfulness to provide us with the credible information that can be a blessing to all of us. It can be a blessing to all of us. Once again, I, I want to remind you throughout, throughout uh, these next few months to make sure that you're registered to vote, uh, to go if you, if you need to. And I suggest that you do during this pandemic to uh, register for or to, to uh, request mail-in ballots, okay? Or absentee ballots to mail them in and to do that um, in a way uh, that will secure that your your vote gets there on time. Amen. So once you receive that ballot, I want you to get it. I want you to vote your conscience, vote your conviction, and then get it in the mail. Get it in the mail uh, because uh, this is a serious time, and your voice, your voice, your vote, and your voice it counts. All right. And so we want to make sure that we're being heard. We'll make sure that we're being heard. Listen. God bless you. God. Uh, continue to keep you in his peace uh, because there's nothing like the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Now for our benediction, heads raised and eyes wide open. Now may the grace of God, the love of Jesus, and the sweet, blessed communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with you throughout this day. And when you lie down tonight, and when you rise early in the morning, whether it's a day of labor or a day of leisure, whether you feel good or don't feel so well at all, may God's grace and mercy undergird you to support you, cover you to protect and shield you and surround you to bless and keep you as God gives you a peace that surpasses all understanding in Christ Jesus. And he'll do it now, henceforth and forever. And the people of God said together, amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. God keep you. God give you his peace in the times of your need. God bless you. The only
lonely place I'd rather be Is in your presence, Lord For in your presence, yeah Enraptures me safely kept from home I'm intoxicated in this very place there's no other place that I'd rather be than in your presence in your presence, yeah. I am basking constantly in your presence, in your presence. Thank you, Jesus.